our first match of the day here today in the next spring 2020 group a as our group stage continues it's the first match in the upper bracket ice orc versus focus an orc mirror between korea and china many of you must be very familiar with Focus, but perhaps not so much with Ice Orc. Ice Orc made a bit of a name for himself last year, especially in the WCG qualifiers looking pretty good. And in some online tournaments also looking decent. Hasn't had the most overwhelming performances yet, but that might change. In my opinion, he is very talented and other top players such as TH have stated this before as well, especially his late game army control I've been really impressed with, with because this is normally something that newer players oftentimes struggle with, whereas creep routes and openings they figure out fairly quickly oftentimes or at least emulate from other top players. But his late game control really has impressed me quite a bit. First it was Hug, wait am I saying this right? Was it Hug or Lingwagua first? Oh, that's really loud. Was it Hug or Lingwagua first? That stood out to us. And after that, Ice Orc came in. These are the three talented Orc players from China. Ice Orc, Hug and Lingwagua. But Hug has been banned for a while because of match fixing. Lingwagua seems to be transitioning more into casting. So it seems to be up to Ice Orc to keep the... Orc dreams alive. Along with Fly, of course, in China. Who is doing really, really well recently, by the way. So impressed with Fly. We are going to be seeing him in the playoffs in this tournament, as he already made it out of Group C a few days ago. So let's take a look what's, at what's actually happening here in this game. Also, uh, you guys can tell me how the sound levels are, if I'm too quiet or the game's too quiet or whatever. Thank you, Pudgy, with a 28-month resub. So, Blade Masters on both sides. I almost want to say, obviously, it is extremely rare nowadays to see a Farseer. Almost never, ever seen anymore. Creep route slightly differing. Ice Orc getting to the middle quicker. That should mean a dust for him. Oh, only going for the circle, not for the dust. It's quite surprising. Whereas Focus went for uh, the Flesh Eater on the slightly bigger camp. Got a Wand of Illusion. Is going for a circle as well. With that Wand of Illusion, you can perhaps try to creep some big camps. Tank some damage for yourself. And also very good for scouting, of course. Seems like both here in the early game are concerned with not letting their opponent creep. Oh, and by the way, this is a restream, as you probably can tell from the overlay and everything. So, the graphics are out of my control, guys. I cannot switch them to classic. This is a restream. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, it will also be kind of nice if you didn't uh, downvote this video. Because this is out of our control. We have to stream it like this. Both now creeping on Ice Orc's side of the map. And that is definitely beneficial to focus. He steals the Tuskar camp away. Gets the Wand of Mana Steel. That is not the greatest item, but it's something. And it's experience taken off of Ice Orc's side. This means later on in the mid game. And even in the late game. You have creeps on your side of the map left, speaking here uh, from Focus's point of view. So, aggressive creeping on the enemy side is always what you prefer to have in the early. And Ice Orc kind of allowed that, I guess. So now two item carrying creeps, especially, are gone from the Chinese players aside. He has a sentry close to the opponent's main spotting things out. Torrent Totem, Bestiary, that is of course the norm. Focus slightly slower with the Totem, so he's gonna have slightly slower walkers. Shouldn't make too big of a difference. Shadowhunter timing, 
is equal between the two. And Blade Master gets to level three. Nice and quick. This is exactly what you want. And in every regard, Focus just seems to be a little bit ahead. Not by much. We haven't seen hero kills. We haven't seen grunt kills. We haven't seen burrow cancels or whatever. But he's level three a little bit quicker. He's taking items away from his opponent's side a little bit better. Now he's claiming the middle camp, which is always a big deal. Wand of the Wind. Ooh, that can be really good. One of the rather broken items in the game, in my opinion. Can have a massive impact in any fight. Not in every fight, to be honest. Depends on the armies, but in... Uh, many cases has a massive impact especially if there is no too little dispel this was supposed to be happy versus focus yes true uh, i haven't touched on that at all yet happy was supposed to play in this tournament but he withdrew from playing in it so ice orc is the replacement Next middle camp, this should, in a fair world, go to Ice Orc as the marketplace went to Focus. The merchant should go to the Chinese. But of course, Focus doesn't want to play fair here. Just like Tokyo. If someone got that reference, I would be very surprised. Oh boy! Scourge Bone Chimes. That is the best item at that camp and a crazy strong item in this matchup. Peon Scout. Interesting. Ice Orc's Blade is still not level 3. He got the Heal Scroll though, so that's the one advantage that Ice Orc has. We can see it up in the overlay, what items are in the inventory. So far, no fights in this Orc Mirror. Oftentimes, Orc Mirror is rather aggressive on Tier 2 with the Shadow Hunters coming out and testing the middle Speed Scroll Hex and so on. But here is just a Creep Fest so far. And Focus is advantages are starting to stack up quite heavily. Oh, this could be a nice steal. Oh, nice wand of the wind. The wand made it so that the shadow couldn't hex the deem- the blade master, excuse me. And he stole the ring, if I saw that right. right? Yeah, the ring plus four was stolen, which isn't too bad on the blade master. It's not like really good, because normally blade masters get ignored anyways. Yeah, now that I think about it, it's probably a bad item. Normally, if your blade is in danger of dying, you've lost the fight anyways. As with Spirit Link, Heal Wave, his natural high armor, he is the most difficult target to kill. Especially with Scourge Bone Chimes. And so, it would be a mistake by your opponent to focus him in the first place. So, here comes the first big fight. Focus has accrued quite a few advantages. He just took out a Raider there a moment ago. Spirit Link. Dispelled. Wand of the Wind. Everything being used. Focus took out a raider early, but Ice Orc is following up with his own raider kill. Oh my god, it's so many peons, so much spirit link. Hard to see what's going on. Speed scroll trying to run in, and with the Kodo Beast, Ice Orc gets the Devourer off. He's the first one here to have a Kodo. And suddenly the Blade Master for Focus taking quite a bit of damage. Supply-wise, Ice Orc has a slight lead here even. And remember, he is closer to his main, so he has faster reinforcements. However, his Shadow Hunter is not level 3, does not have that crucial level 2 heal wave, and that makes a massive difference. Focus has a shop coming up in the back here, I like that a lot. As the Shadow Hunter runs out of mana, he's gonna need some clarities and mana pots quite soon. Oh, but now comes in Focus's Kodo as well. Takes out a grunt of the opponent. And the Blade Master is getting more and more kills with more and more experience, getting very close to level 4. Shop is cancelled though. And with Focus almost being out of mana on the shadow. Oh, and almost losing his shadow. Oh my god. Might be in trouble. Another ensnare comes in. He has tons of mana on the blade. He could chase for a long time with Windwalk. Here comes the level 4 now. For focus, thanks to another kill of his. Oh, and the Kodo gets ensnared. If that Kodo falls, the aura is gone, and the unit for focus should return. That ring turning out rather nice at the moment. Focus, big master, so tacky. 
with the ring and talisman and spirit link. Oh my god, he's a raid boss. Oh, wait a minute. Is he dead though? He missed the crit! But he gets the backstab! Hold the phone, senor! It was level 3 shadow. Uh-oh! Gets another raider right there. More raiders are coming in. Oh my god, Focus and Shadowhunter is almost surrounded! He is surrounded! How did Ice Dog turn this fight around? Level 4 suddenly. I, dude, I'm telling you. His late game army control is just crazy. Perhaps a little bit too eager by Focus to push into the main. Also, Focus, you have more than a thousand gold. What happened there? Oh, and the Kodo. He's not going to get a unit back for this kill. The Grunt had already been devoured. That's a lot of kills, though. However... Supply is still equal, because Icework also lost a lot of units, I suppose. <laughs> the experience lead is only very slight, actually, for Icework. Isn't that crazy? No, wait. Am I looking at the right side? Yes, I am. Triple circlet, double gloves on the Blade Master. Not bad. Looks like Ice Orc watches Robbie's stream as well. Making sure to take out the critters. Robbie's stream last night, by the way. There were some really fun games against Todd once again. It's a, it's a pretty juicy rivalry between them uh, on ladder, on their streams. If you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. Tuscar camp didn't have the Ogre Major anymore, I guess. Focus. Yeah, didn't get the item there. Red camps, pretty much the only thing still left on the map. Far out on the corners. Sometimes hard to get to. Oh, nice peon scout here by Ice Orc. Loses that peon, but gets the information that Focus is so far away, so he knows he's safe to take the red. Is he gonna go for the full camp or just for the item is the question. Just the item. And it's the uh, the Warsong Battle Drums. Is he gonna keep that? It's the same aura as the Kodo aura. That's a stack. But in case he loses all Kodos, he still would have... Ooh, wait a minute, Blade is coming in. This guy just doesn't have slots anymore. Ice Lord wins another fight. That last fight, he lost a raider early. He had a level 2 versus level 3 shadow disadvantage. And he was fighting against a Scourge Bone Chimes. And he still won the fight. Very barely won the fight, but he still won the fight. Isn't that crazy? Second red camp for Ice Lord, hoping for a better item here. What is the best? I think Cadgas Pipe is the best. Ancient Django also very good. Claws also very good. Oh, this is the coolest looking item in Reforged. The Helm of Valor. It's decent for the Blade Master. Not really amazing. But yeah, this player is looking pretty strong now. For Ice Orc. How much bonus damage does he have? Plus 19. Would love to get a heal scroll in the middle. Heal scrolls in Orkmara, of course, really important. Did he get one? Oh, he's looking at the wrong side in the inventory. Nope, did not get one. Focus again fighting into the enemy base. When that went really wrong before, it's a 10 supply lead for Ice Orc. It's all still stuck in production. But. That's the first walker going down right away, right? Yep. Dude, isn't this fight looking super bad for Focus already? Alright, Focus gets over Devour on the Kodo in the back. Heal scroll was already used right there, if I see that right. Focus aiming for the Kodos in the back line. There's only one Kodo for Ice Oak. That seems like a bit of a mistake. But Focus also loses one Kodo. A new Kodo comes out for the Chinese. That could be another Devour. Both Shadow Hunters blasting through the mana, that's why it's really important that Focus took out the shop here early. But a new shop is coming up. So, 
Focus doesn't have a Kodo anymore. Focus doesn't have, it seems like, any units anymore. He's still up at 50 supply, but that's gonna change quickly. This Kodo is taking forever to kill for Focus. He takes it out now, finally. Late Master level 5, though. Shut on his snare. GG is called. And Ice Orc gets the 1 0. Oh. I am so glad to see him in good shape. I think he's one of the most promising. Young prospects in the game. In our game. And that was pretty impressive, right? Like that second fight, it seemed like he couldn't lose really. But the first fight. Before the fight, he lost the Raider for free. He had a Shadow Hunter level disadvantage. Level 2 to 3. Maybe even the Blade Master, I'm not sure. And he was fighting against Scourge Pound Chimes. Fucking crazy. Ice Orc. Yeah, it was last year at WCG, where I saw really impressed me um, in the weird best of one format with Ancient Isles and stuff. You guys remember? Uh, yeah, WCG, where Neo and I flew into China for the Chinese qualifier for just a single day. And it was so hot, and the studio, they had the AC on, and it was way too cold, <laughs> and we both got sick before the Rona. Um, yeah, their Isoc already looked really good. Looked even good against the human gods, which was super impressive. And I think this is one of the most impressive things here, if you think back to how that game started. It was a bad early for Ice Orc, really. Focus with the meticulous early game plan and creep route got bit by bit ahead. Way better creep route. Way, way, way better creep route than Ice Orc had. But those little advantages were not enough to finish off Ice Orc. Perhaps a bit impatient by Focus to push all the way into the main. And that second attack into the main, that was super weird. Maybe he was hoping to catch Ice Orc by surprise. Maybe Focus thought he couldn't play it out straight up anymore as Ice Orc got both red camps. But the items there weren't even so good. But of course, still lots of gold. Remo, do you play Reforged? No. I tried for a while. But uh, Reforged has, on my PC at least, a max of 90 FPS. And depending on how much is going on in the game, goes down to 40 FPS. And that is horrible. Did you see WCAA finals yesterday? Uh, I saw a bit on stream, but uh, not all of it. I saw that Flynn did beat Moon, yeah. Yeah, WCAA was yesterday, which uh, we didn't know. Which nobody seemed to know, because it's um, because it's WCAA. <laughs> uh, so that came as a surprise. But yeah, just by the result itself, really impressed. Really impressed with Flyman. Moon was looking unbeatable in that matchup for like half a year, maybe longer. And Fly just took him out with uh, apparently Bloodlust of Torrents. That's my favorite kind of game. Yeah, I think Fly right now is looking like the best orc in the world, which almost sounds like blasphemy. Especially considering that Lin is the reigning champion still of WGL, but here in these online tournaments... Online tournaments as well! This was always Fly's biggest weakness in the past. You say it a lot in the past also that he's not playing so super seriously competitively anymore. Maybe that has changed. Looking crazy good at the moment. Moon trashed Focus yesterday in the AWL semifinals. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. That is also what we saw at DreamHack. Where Focus just didn't seem to find any way. Fly did. Lin didn't find a way, remember? Lin also lost 2-0 against Moon in Group B in this tournament. Um, Focus lost to Moon as well. At AWL... Uh, at... DreamHack. But Fly yesterday stood up to the fifth race. And finally, an orc could beat him again. Did you lose a bet? Looks like you shaved your eyebrows. Yeah. Well, I didn't lose a bet, but yeah, I, uh, I trimmed my eyebrows. I went a little too hard 
So, um, yeah, got a little too far, but I think it grew back a little bit already. It depends on how the light is hitting it. It looked even worse. It looked even worse, but now it's looking okay. Anyways, our second map is gonna be Twisted Meadows. Always a joy for me to see. I hate playing it personally, but I think it makes for very interesting games. I'm always surprised how many of our chats also seem to dislike this map. Because I think it always makes for great games, but I uh, oftentimes read that it shouldn't be in the 1v1 map pool. I think it absolutely should be. It's the only map of that kind. It's, it's a little weird. It definitely has some balance issues, but you know, for that we have vetoes, normally. Thank you, Mass Bash with a 7 month resub, and thanks also Buffalo Joe with the 4 months. So yes, thanks for all the content, and it, and I hope to see you more in Creepjack, Remo. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't mind that one bit. I might maybe be doing, um, what's it called, a challenge, whoops, let's include that here, I might be doing a challenge against Take on Creepjack, but I don't know if that's actually happening, or, like it seems like they want to do it at some point, but if it's this week, next week, I don't know, I would be down though. Can't let take win all the games. So we have map two coming up. Ice Orc in quite the surprise took the two the one oh. Has a chance now take a lead with 2-0. Can you tell us why Happy isn't playing? Not really. Um, the official statement that he gave, which is that he simply uh, steps back from playing this tournament, is the only explanation that I know. Don't have the inside scoop on this one, folks, I'm afraid. So, Twisted Meadows, focus bonding in the top right, Ice Orc in the bottom left. Should focus lose here? Yes, it would be quite a surprise, but it wouldn't necessarily be him dropping out of the tournament, because we still have a lower bracket, which is going to be played tomorrow. Where players will have a chance. Another chance. Ooh, wait a minute. Ice Orc is actually not going for the Rock Golem creep. Well, that's quite rare to see nowadays. Normally, all orcs, it seems, do this in all starting positions. But Ice Orc does not. Ooh, and that could mean Focus gets the Rock Golem creep and his opponent doesn't. And that's a big... Ooh. That's a big advantage then for Focus, isn't it? Well, depends on the item, I guess. Ice Orc is going to get more experience. But if Focus gets Boots of Quetzalas right here, or the Scourge Boat Chimes. This also costs tech timing, by the way, because of the peons on Harvesting Lumber. But nice trap by Focus, executed well. Ruined Bracers. That is a trash tier item. That actually does literally nothing in Orc Mirror. Unless there's a TC third with Stomp, but even then it's basically useless. And as you can see... Ice Orc is getting more experience, also taking quite a bit of damage for this circuit for him, that's not bad. The Focus is gonna get up to level 2 here quite quick as well. Take out the 2 Warden, and that's enough. Ice Orc now scouting for his opponent, and once again seems to be on the back foot here in the early a little bit. As he's facing off a level against a level two opponent already. Blade Master with similar strength here as far as items go. 
Focus brought the circlet, Ice Orc found the circlet. But it's a level 2 and the crit that make quite a difference, of course. The lady is chasing after the grunt, but not actually committing. It's a cute play by Ice Orc waking up the Null so that the Blade Master can't just solo creep him too easily. Hmm. Wait, is he going for boots? No way. Ah, dust, okay. Oh, speed scroll. Kind of wasted. All right, seems to be all about this null overseer here in the in the early uh, early game. There you go. 一位玩家的部队正遭到攻击。Oh, Mercamp! Wait a minute. Do you want to creep this with one grunt, two grunts? Oh, focus! If he doesn't sniff this out, he's gonna fall so far behind in experience. Oh. He does, he does sniff it. Does he sniff it? Not yet. Surprised to see Ice Orc not going for the Berserker here. Ooh, that's a dangerous creep, Mr. Ice Orc, but I guess it works out. Level 2, slippers, big healing. Those are some amazing items. Gloves of haste for focus. Ice Orc a little too afraid to creep that whole camp. Falls back to the green to heal up a little bit. And remember, Ice Orcs tier 2 should be a little bit faster. And now, if he gets the next Null Camp, it's gonna be very close to 3. Might even get level 3. That's a nice snipe by Focus as well, though. There's a lot of sneaky creepy going on here. In the early stages of wasted. Good more chance this time. No, next bad item. How bad is the flu? It might be kind of okay for walkers and kodos, right? And also shadow hunter a little bit, but oh my god, imagine a creep jag right there, dude. Oh Jesus. That will be two grunts dead. No question. Oh! Speaking of dead, Focus loses the shadow. And Isoc should have a pretty good idea where his opponent is as well, thanks to that rally. Grunts are being sent away. Does the blade find him? They are walking a pretty predictable route. They were just at the merchant, they're trying to escape, they're probably taking the loop de doo around up there. The Blade Masters and chasing. I guess without Windwalk Mana anymore, Focus can't hope for too many kills, anyways. Oh, Peon Scout. I like it. Give him some intel. Blade is revealed, but. I don't think he can really f threaten a kill here, can he? Oh, that Grunt dude. Dude. Okay. Shadow level 2. That's a full level advantage on the Shadow Hunter. In the meantime, while the Shadow was banished, Focus couldn't really achieve anything other than saving his grunts, which I guess he did. It's gonna be daytime in a second. Big snag of the heal scroll, but with there being two merchants, I think both or each should get one. No tier 3 once again. Too bad. I always like the tier 3 days in Ogmira. Kind of weird that Ice Orc spending so much time creeping. After he killed off the Gnolls, he didn't continue with any other camp. Looks like he wants to come in for a creep jack here. Late Master for Focus lost track of the enemy. That's a scary time. Focus sees the blade, but doesn't expect the rest of the army to be there as well. And that creep jack at the very least is gonna give him a grunt kill. If I can steal the troll warlord as well, this would be grand for him. But Focus comes in to contest, however, doesn't have level 2. Doesn't have heal wave. Isaac has the heal scroll as well. Focus does not have a heal scroll. This should on paper be a pretty easy fight for Isaac, but let's see. It comes down to the micro. 
raiders falling here, one on each side. Some grunts also in trouble. Heal scroll now used. That was the only one. Fire sword, obviously. Seems like pretty even trading here so far. Oh, nice speed scroll to get the raider out of dodge. Gets him out, just barely. Kodo Beast! Cannot be ensnared, so very hard to kill. And Focus steals the Warlord away! Oh my god. Oh my god, the Warlord! The Warlord! Got the item, right? Yeah. Forced into the invul as well. And again, it's a shit item. It's only the... Uh, Rune Bracers. There's an edgy tome on the ground, dude. Oh my god. Is that tome gonna make the difference? Probably not. What might make the difference is the Shadowhunter levels. Which is still looking very poor for Focus. If Focus can get the Merchant here. Big mana pot. Get some Clarity's heal cells running. He's gonna pretty surely go right in for another attack. What do you get? Big mana. Okay. Alright boys, let's go. We are going north. Heon Scout sees it early. Focus sees the big mana and must be thinking, oh crap. This could be the 205 or right here. Kind of crazy. Level 4 Blade Master, also nice to have. And here comes the push. What's he going for first? Going for the shop seems to make the most sense, but of course this is Barracks is super exposed, so that's the easiest kill. Shop in the back early by Iceberg, quite far outside the enemy base. Did the player not keep yet, so it's pretty much 50 versus 50. Alright, both armies posturing. That Borough, of course, thanks to that Rock Golem opening, also kind of exposed. Blade doesn't have Spirit Link. Now he does. Blade's just fighting mano y mano. Bigger crits are on Ice Oak's side, but not by that much, I suppose. Oh, Blade committing in deep in the middle. Uses the heal pot, but one Kodo got off the Devourer here by Ice Oak. Perhaps a mistake by... Uh, by Focus, I mean. So many raiders still alive. Oh my god. Focus has tons of raiders. He has way more in snare to use. Looks like he just has a bigger army, maybe. But he actually has less supply, however, quicker reinforcements. Kodo falls by Ice Orc. Still has the big mana, but that was a strong hold by Focus. Falls back to the shop. Big mana still available. And now Focus Shadow is level 3. I don't know exactly why, but that was a hold by Focus. We've seen very few Blade Master Steel. It's dangerous against Ensnare and Hex, of course. Focus, does he really want to force a fight here? Seems like yes, he does. Still looks like Focus has the bigger army. He definitely has more ensnares. But one raider is gonna drop down right here. Another raider for Ice Work is coming in. Big mana committed. And that should be tons more heal wave for Ice Orc. Kind of surprised that neither is going for a total focus here. It's only raiders. Trying to take out Raiders. And Focus completely out of mana now, is he? Has a Clarity, but that doesn't do him much favors right now. Still doesn't have Heal Wave. New Kodo is coming in. Can those get over Devour, maybe? Good Raider control. Nice heal scroll there by Focus also. But dude, this Shadow Hunter. This Shadow Hunter! Way too far forward! Seems like he saw that just 
too, way too late. GG is called, and that's the 204 Ice Orc.